I'm out here in Arizona. I was literally driving down the street to go to Phoenix, downtown Phoenix. Well, I saw this barber shop flag. I saw the barber pole right here at this red little building. So I had to drop by, see what's up. Shit looks dope. Let's see what's cracking. Cool, man. So here I am in Arizona uh, with my boy here. Introduce yeah. yourself, G. Uh, so I'm Nico. We're at the Dojo Barbershop right now. Yeah. So we got a bunch of other things, but we're just going to focus on the barbershop today. For sure, for sure, Nico. So this is a newly opened location. Uh, I've been cutting out in AZ for about a year now. Uh, I love it. It's been a dream of mine to be a barber, and I'm glad I finally accomplished that. Dope, man. So dope. It's been pretty lit. So before you were cutting his AZ, where were you cutting at before? Man, I was just cutting at my garage. Word, word, hell yeah. Like, I, I didn't really want a passion. Like, I didn't really think I would have a passion for barbering. Mm -hmm. Until it, like, I had a pair of clippers. Homies were around, they needed haircuts. So word. I cut them up, you know? And I didn't really do it for fun. I just did it because, and it turned out, like, I started liking it, you know? And it eventually just grew on to me, and I just knew I wanted to do this. Word, man. For, even after all those years, I never got tired of it. Hell yeah. That's, that's usually how it starts, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You get a pair of clippers, you have some homies that need a haircut, yeah. you know? That's exactly how it is. Man, it starts off as free haircuts, transitions to like five, and you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. and it, it, bags and folding. Too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah, man. Straight up, bro. It Those experiences are what, like, teaches you like shows you where where you're at you know what i mean yeah, yeah. it's like it's those stepping stones that are needed to get to where you're at now definitely you it's, know what i'm saying it's awesome to look at yeah it's, hell it's, yeah just to know that like you went from or i went from trash bags and fold or trash bags and folding chairs i have my own sheet ring light all your, the your own out. setup you, you know, know what i mean yeah it's just crazy how far a dream could take you hell yeah man and like when you picked up those clippers, you weren't really expecting it to, to transition to something how oh, it is now, right? Man, I used to get made fun of how bad <laughs> this came out. Like, I just knew that, one, I didn't care about anyone think. When True. I wanted to get my license, I knew I was doing this for myself. So whenever someone made fun of my cuts, it was like, I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this for me. I know I'll be better. Yeah. And, like, it looks at now. I'm here. That's right. Yeah. Nico, how long you been cutting hair for, bro? I've been cutting hair for about four years, man. Four years? 18. 18 yeah. 14, started, huh? Yeah, but I got my license straight at 16. That's right. Yeah. 16, man? Yeah. Dude. I was in a barbershop. Dude, shop. that's you sick, know? man. Yeah. <laughs> I used to come in. I used to go in for, like, a job, and I'd be like, yo, are you guys hiring? And they'd be like, oh, sorry, man, we're not hiring supers. And I'm like, I'm talking about barbers. And he's like, your license? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. And they're like, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, nah, homeboy, I'm trying, yeah. trying to start so ready to I'm work, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Man, Nico, what's what's the majority of the haircuts you do here? What, what do you usually do? Man, I try to keep my, like, my cutting skills abroad, so I can do anything, really. I try to, even if I see something I can't do that well, I'll still tackle it on. That's know? right, that's right. But, I usually do a lot around here is a lot of like medium fade, like medium skin fades, a lot of tapers. Some people are starting to get into the mullet trends. You, like, yeah, yeah. Up a lot. Dude, the like, mullets are coming back. Well, you know what I'm saying? Are, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the mullets are yeah, I see people with the mullets. Some people are getting like the, you know, like the faux hawk fade. Yeah, yeah. They're getting all those, man. Man. One thing about like trends is like back in the day, if you had a comb over, he would be like, man, what, your mom's doing your hair? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. shit's weak, you know what I'm saying? But now, now it's everyone crazy. has a comb over, you it's, know? Bro, the coolest thing about 2021 is just, like, all the cultures are just in right now. Yeah. Like, I cut, I've cut up to, like, people with, like, flat top fades. Yeah. Which is, like, the coolest thing ever. Like, I, the nine, that was in the 90s, man. And yeah. still getting that today, you know? <laughs> For it's sure, just man. Crazy. It's, like, it's really art. It's I, really art, honestly. That, I, I get upset when people tell me it's just a haircut. It's like, nah, bro. It's nah. it's not just a haircut, you know. It's art, man. It's art. Yeah. You're you're making something out of nothing. Oh yeah. And not only that, but you give people a lot of confidence. You oh, feel yeah. me? Like you, someone walks in, not feeling that good about themselves or whatever. They they leave feeling like a million bucks. You know what I'm saying? Like. And we're like their therapists in a way. Like I can't tell facts. you how many people how many people get in my chair and they just need to talk. 
Like they just need to talk to me. They don't need someone to talk back. They just need someone to listen to them while they're while they're enjoying themselves. You know, just yeah. Me time. You know, truth. That's man. like that's what everybody needs. We're you cheap. We're me? cheap therapists, bro. You know, you know what I mean? Straight up. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. Charging therapy rate. You feel me? Like. <laughs> oh man, dude. What what do you think of barbering in general right now? Like as of where it's at, bro. It's barbering's in. I would like to see where it's going because, man, barbering back then it was just like, all right, you're a barber. You either own a shop or work for a shop. But now it's just like what you can do is just beyond your imagination. Now, like you can you can cut up celebrities. You can you can be a portable barber. You can work at a barber shop. You can own your own barber shop. You can do strictly home visits. There's yeah. so much you can do now, you know, with Truth. that license and with cutting hair. It's just amazing. Man. Like what Vic Blends is doing right now yeah. is just skyrocketing. Crazy. That's that's awesome. He opened his own barber school. Yeah, all yeah. That. That's crazy. For sure, man. And it's it's not just behind the chair stuff that you could do as a barber. You know what I mean? There's oh, just yeah. so much more stuff you could branch out to. Oh yeah. You it, know what I mean? Man. I feel like barber or like cutting hair was my foundation for everything I have a passion for now. Yeah. You know, it was just some cool art form, you know, for some sure. to express yourselves. I feel you that know, that man. was always the coolest thing, just expressing the way just you being want. Being able to express what what you want to be expressing and not not only that, but you're you're also able to connect with a lot of people. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? I think that's a really dope thing about it. Oh yeah, I love to be in touch with my clients, like my community, you yeah. know. I I really feel I'm what I'm not liking right now is that somewhat since COVID hit and all that, yeah. barbershops aren't really barbershops anymore. Like, I talk to a lot of young kids I cut up, and I'm like, do you ever just hang out in a barbershop? And they're like, no. Yeah. And I'm like, what? You this whole COVID thing got the whole barbershop vibe feeling a little bit different yeah, at the moment, you know? which sucks. But, you know. So, hopefully it comes back. I want that to come back again, where people yeah, are just yeah. hanging out in the barbershop, having a good time. You Due know? time, that's going to happen, bro, for sure. And, um... You said you've been cutting for four years now, four right? Years, man. Four years. Yep. You have any um, any advice you would want to give out to new barbers, new uh, up and coming barbers who who are probably just looking into getting into barber cutting hair or being a barber or doing hair in general? Remember, just doing this for yourself. Like, Facts. you can't have other people's opinions affect you. You know, you know you're new. You know, you might your cuts might not come out as you see them on Instagram and yeah. social media. But just know, you're gonna get there, you know? A year, if you put me back in my first year, I would have not thought I would have exceeded to this. But it's just that mindset. There's like so many times where I've said, I can't do this anymore. Like that, the people, what they're saying, it hurts me as a person. I can't do this, but you just gotta remember. It's, for, it's not for them, it's for me, you know? True. And once you get that license and you prove everyone wrong, guess who starts sitting in your chair? Guess he starts paying you. True. You know? The people who didn't think you were able to do it, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's facts right there, man. That's facts. Dang. Four years, bro, cutting hair. I've been I've been a barber since I was seventeen. Oh, now really? I'm twenty five now. So uh yeah, that's lit. about you know, almost eight years. Uh -huh. Almost eight yeah, almost eight years, bro. And um you know what? You you hit it on the head. Yeah. As right. you know, as being being a new barber, it's mandatory that your cuts aren't gonna be you good. Know? Not only cutting hair, but just in general. Like yeah. you gotta put in that time. You gotta be able to suck before you get decent, before you get like good. That's why it's like it's really something you have to have a passion for, you know. Yeah, you have definitely. To go through that that heartbreak hours to get to the like the golden hours, you know. Yeah, yeah, man. That's how I see it. For sure, bro. What about in future, barbering in future wise? Would you any any plans on that? Any plans on my future? So my goal is I want I soon want to be a celebrity barber. So I've been like following a lot on social media and doing all those things. So I want to be cutting up the celebrities like such as Vic Blends does, you know? Yeah, yeah. So what I do is I get in touch with a lot of the local people. One thing I love about this shop is it's like it gets really in tune with the locals, you know? Yeah. So I talk, I've talked to a lot of, like, AZ's top artists, you know? Yeah. A lot of somewhat people with connects that can get me to where I want to mm. go. So I'm all I'm just trying to do is just get into there, cut them up, you know? Get yeah, that man. word to mouth. 
That's soon to be, soon where I am, you know? Hey, well, you know what? Everything starts somewhere. That's what I'm you saying. You know what I'm saying? You're already four years deep into... Sky's the limit, man. Sky's the limit, bro. Yep. You know, so I, I think as long as you have a foundation of what you want to go... You don't want to have a strict like schedule like oh I want to do this by this and this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cuz that that just it doesn't I want to take time to enjoy my life. Bro. Yeah, you want to you enjoy know? the present, man. That's you don't want to just think of future yeah. because now you're just, you know, chasing chasing something that's not here that's yet. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But I promise you, I'll get there. You'll see. That's right, G. That's right. <laughs> yes, sir. I know you got a client waiting for you, bro. Yes, I really appreciate you, yeah, uh, thank you my man. giving me this little talk, bro. Yeah, bro like I said, this now. is the first interview of this series I'm trying to put together. And um, you want to shout yourself out, Instagram or anything? Yeah, just add me on Instagram and TikTok. It's uh, not the average barber. Not uh, the average. You'll put that in down below because it's with the underscore. The got screen. you. I'm going to tag him. Uh, Nico, appreciate you, G. All right, thank I'm you. A, I'm going to try to get a little bit of you cutting uh, your next client if that's oh, cool with oh, you. Yeah, bro, of course. His description is going to be below. Check him out, man. Real rad, real rad cat right here. Real rad. Up and coming, AZ. Celebrity barber coming up. Yes. Trust. Trust the process.